Hey guys, so prior to this boat, we had a 252 Dusky. Um, we we bought it used. We did some some repairs to it, some upgrades we to it. We restored the boat completely. completely. From stringer sub, new floor, new stringer, new gas tank, the whole shebang. New I motor. New motor. I even got a T-top with a tower and with a second station up there. Right, with a crow's nest. The boat was amazing. It was great for the four of us. But the reality is that when um, we went to the Fort Lauderdale boat show back in 2021 they had this specific boat this 33 the same boat on on display and I was literally struck by Cupid now I was I, looking into the 27a which is a longer version of the 252 but you yeah, know so I was telling him what's the difference between this and what we currently have now an additional two feet it really wasn't too much of a difference and the way I see it is our boys are only getting bigger they're really into fishing um, we have a lot of friends that enjoy going fishing and they come out with us and their kids so the boat was already becoming a little small for us so I I had a vision I had a dream the salty brood is my boat yeah all of this was her idea <laughs> like I said I wanted to go with the 278 but I'll tell you Pat and Mike Brown they really saw that one with me Pat was like, hey, you know what, as a mom, great sales pitch, by the way. <laughs> as a mom, I totally get it, and it's true. Your boys are getting bigger. We like to camp out on the water. We like to bring the dogs. And especially, the you see the back that we have here, how spacious it is. That's really where you do most of your fishing. Even though you're walking around the boat, but really, it's mostly in the back. Um, it's great. Um, yeah, it's a very comfortable boat, and like she said, the kids are only getting bigger. That's right. So we're going to, you know, eventually, they're going to bring their friends, their girlfriends, um and it's not just going to be us four it's going to be other people and this boat can comfortably fit a ton of people uh when we go fishing we try to go you know with as little people as possible because we got hooks we got lines but nevertheless it is such a comfortable boat when fishing that you can move around go to the stern go to the bow go to the port side starboard um i mean there's so much space on this boat to fish and we love, we like the bow so much that we're planning our next trip to Tortugas and that's where the boys are gonna sleep. We got these cushions that we're gonna show you and it's so large yeah. that I'm 6'2 and I lay there without a problem. My feet, my feet don't stick out or anything like that. But you're gonna see that Tell now. Tell people problems. Tell people problems. But it's very comfortable boat, very dry boat, a very solid boat. When all the boats are getting back banged up out in so, three to four sorry feet. Sorry to interrupt. So just this weekend, this it's not. been it's been pretty windy. We've been having what twenty to twenty three knot winds. Um, it's been pretty choppy out there. Yes, just the day before yesterday, we went out. And I would say that we had about four to five foot rollers, and you know, we it handled were, it like a champ. It handled it like a champ. This boat, they're truly built like tanks, and it was extremely dry. Everyone that was sitting. In the back, we were super dry, not choppy, not bumpy at all. Every now and then, you know, you'll get your occasional a little shot, spray, a little spray, but nothing major. It was amazing. So, uh, let's not delay this any longer, and let's show them the, bo the boat. Yeah. All right. Let's check it out. All right guys, so one of my favorite parts of the boat is this custom Labrat chair. What's great is that you've got this little stepping bar, which is very common in boats, but it's great for us short people. Okay, and sometimes when my husband is out diving, I'm the captain of the boat. So it's great for me to get a better visual of what's going on. You've got this comfort here that you could just lean into, and it's just crazy comfortable to sit at. Um, so while, I'm, while my husband is driving on the boat, I'm just chilling back relaxing enjoying the view and there's plenty of space for the boys to sit down either in the back right behind the chair so right behind these LeBrock chairs you have another bench and underneath the bench you have a storage compartment in this case on our boat it's a dry storage compartment where you can store a lot of things you can store snacks you can store tackle whatever you you need to store in there and I'm sure that this is also an option with Dusky if you want to turn it into a cooler um, or maybe even into a live well. I know that they have another seating component with a live well in the back. You could actually get this 33 tournament style. And what the tournament is, is you know, they'll get rid of the V hatches, but we actually like the V hatches because we use it as bed. And the tournament style is just completely plain up front. 
you could probably get an insulated cooler in the front and so on but we like it like this the big hatches are also full of um, storage and fish boxes for example right here uh, these are insulated fish boxes or you could use it as storage uh, it is fairly large so ice will last a very long time as well this right here is just a dry hatch where we put the life vest and a little table right there the cushions could be easily removed if you're gonna go fishing and the boat is gonna get full of blood this actually come off very easily and you could just put it in, in you know inside indoors so it doesn't get ruined and you could get the the boat full of blood if you wanted to okay with whatever it is that you're cashing now this could actually be removed this is a backrest and i love this because once you remove it you could actually put use use this backrest holder as a rod holder or you could even put your gaff there if you wanted to okay now something that i like about dusky a lot i wanted this bowl to be full of rod holders because uh, we do fish a lot we actually dive a lot we're a salty family and we do a lot of things out there so if you see the boat has rod holders all throughout the vessel you never know which rod holder you're going to need and a really cool thing about that i like about dusky if you look closely you got the dusky brand in every rod holder which is beautiful it's really nice we got the electronic box here, the T-top, extremely spacious. If there's something I like about Dusky is that everything they do, they do it with, you know, considering space. I mean, they take space into the factor of building boats. We got an insulated fish uh, cooler right here as well. Fish box or cooler, whatever you want. It's spacious for for like the bed and stuff, and like it's not one of those light bulbs that are really like closed. So like if you have a kid, if you have, if you have a kid, it's perfect for them because they can come back here, look at the fish and, and stuff like that. I, when 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 we catch bait, I usually always go back here. I open it or just look at it through here. Uh, the bait, or the pilchers, and all that stuff. I think it's really really cool. We are going to show you now the center console. It is extremely spacious and one of the favorite parts of the boat of my kids, especially Sebastian. Tian. Here you go, buddy. Um, one of my favorite parts of the boat is the sink and this room. So this Dusky 33 is actually powered by twin 350s right there and and they actually do about fully loaded full gas of tank uh, 50 gallon of fresh water tank that's inside the center console fully iced my wife the boys and I it's gonna be doing about 1.25 mile per gallon fully loaded to the bone and lightly loaded it's gonna hit about 1.4 miles per gallon to 1.6 miles per gallon at about 3500 rpms 
Uh, this boat could actually run up to 50 miles an hour um, if weighted properly. But I'm not a speed demon. I usually cruise around 30 miles an hour to about 38 miles an hour. I don't like to, you know, I like to enjoy the scenery when I'm running around. Uh, but nevertheless, for a boat this size, the miles per gallon, the numbers, the e is great.